which vector diagram represents the greatest magnitude of displacement for an object. All right, so um, our magnitude of displacement is going to be defined as basically the distance from our start point to our end point, right? So for this first one here, we can see we know it's just one meter. So nothing crazy to do there. For number two here, it's going to be the distance from the start point to the end point. Well, the start point to the end point is going to be from here to here. So let's draw this out. And we know that we have one and one here. Well, we can use um, Pythagorean's theorem, or we might just remember this as one of our special triangles. And we'll say that one squared plus one squared is going to equal, and we'll call this C, C squared. And so C is going to be equal to root two. Okay. So in this case, we have uh, a C value of root two. So, so far, this is the largest magnitude because root two is larger than one. I'm just going to go ahead and move this over. Next, we have um, this kind of square here. And so from start to finish, it's just going to be a one meter displacement as well. So I'll go ahead and write down what we found so far, one meter. And then of course, this one is one meter. And then finally, this one, well, it's ending where it started. So its magnitude displacement is actually going to be zero meters. So our largest is going to be number two here, because we're basically finding the hypotenuse of this, which is always going to be greater than its two sides. So number two is the answer. All right, that's all for this one. I hope that helps. Thank you. Bye.